What's up everybody and welcome to day 79. I'm back and today I'm headed to Miami. Hey, so I wanted to say something real quick and that was that, you know, the reason I've been gone for a few days was one, I think I jumped in a little over my head trying to do content for two channels. I didn't realize like, just how much work that was going to take. And then, you know, the issue with overlapping content, which honestly wasn't on purpose. It wasn't for like a lack of content. It was everything is filmed so close together and on multiple, on the same devices that honestly the content just got put in the wrong folders or it got doubled up. But regardless, trying to film a video every day with my personal life and then also doing videos within the business, what I realize is sometimes I don't do anything except work and I personally don't think it's a very uh, entertaining video to just watch me get up, have coffee and go to the gym every day and do the same thing because there are some days where my my schedule is very routine and I do the same, I literally do the same thing every day. I wake up, I put on the same clothes, I go work out, I go to work, I go home, I work some more. It's the same thing. Um, so. What I think I'm gonna do is, I'm going to still do the day in the life videos and do a video every day on my personal channel. I think we're gonna drop back down to one video a week on the timepiece, gentlemen. That way we can do a more quality video, get the whole team involved. Um, and just, you know, just I, I don't want overlapping content. The other thing is, I think I'm going to keep all of the watch content inside the office for the channel. Now, unless I have a special deal or something that I'm talking about, that I think you guys would really appreciate on this channel. I'm gonna keep all the watch content inside the office on the TPG channel. And I'm gonna use this channel to talk about, you know, like my actual personal life outside the business. The, uh, you know, my goals, um, my hobbies, my toys, stuff like that. Like trying to have a life outside of work. So with going forward today, I'm also gonna limit it down to, you know, try to hit like an idea for the video every single day, rather than just all day, every day, what I'm doing, trying to follow that. I think it'd be better to try it for a little while where I just highlight you know, one thing about my day or whatever, one thing special about the day, one, one thing that I wanna teach guys. I don't know, I'm gonna play with it a little bit and figure it out, but that's where I was at, um, is the last few days trying to navigate how to do this. Also, I wanted to try and get caught up on a few videos and get a few days ahead because Darby and Liz are gonna be taking a vacation here in the in early February and he's specifically asked for me not to have him edit anything so that they can enjoy vacation. Obviously, I have no problem with that. But to do that, we have to get a few days ahead with content, which meant not posting for a few days to stack up some content that I can still have a video a day. So today, my highlight is I'm headed to Miami and tonight, I'm gonna to be meeting Paul Thorpe. So I've done several videos with Paul Thorpe. We've talked a lot through WhatsApp over the year, but we've never met in person. So he's in town for the IWJG show and the antique show that's going on. Um, I'm actually staying at his hotel. So we're gonna meet up tonight, hang out, talk, shoot some content, go to dinner. I don't really know yet, uh, but you guys will see. Puertas de 20 hasta de 25. Terminal y reclamo de equipaje. So I made it to Miami and I'm going to go check into my hotel. We have uh, dinner reservations. I'm not sure if I'm gonna see Paul before 
we go out, but I know Roman just called me and we've got dinner reservations at eight o'clock somewhere. I'm not sure yet. I'll check them in a minute, but I'm going to go check back into the hotel or check into my hotel. Either get a power nap or work out. I'm not sure. I worked out this morning, but uh, I've been slacking a lot lately, so I kind of want to get some cardio. We'll just see how I feel when I get checked in there and what the gym actually looks like. So. So I just finally got to the hotel. <clears throat> the rental car process was much longer and checking a bag took way longer than I thought. So I'm kind of exhausted. So I'm not sure how long we're gonna be out tonight. Uh, I'd rather be well rested and be able to engage because like I said, I've never met um, Paul in person. So I wanna be, I don't wanna be tired. And right now I'm kind of tired. So I'm gonna take a little power nap and get up, go fresh, go meet him and Roman, have dinner, catch up, everything. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, gonna head down and grab me a coffee and go find Paul. I don't know why I feel nervous. We've talked like a million times, but I'm excited though. I'm, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to meeting him. Anthony and Paul. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Nice to meet you, man. It's good to meet you, lot. It's good to meet you, lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm myself a bit shaven. I'm out of shape, and I'm like, I'm running my head under cold water, trying not to bleed to death. Nobody. Yeah, it's just me, my little setup. Darby's actually coming in tomorrow. I figured as like. I've got content from my personal channel, content for the TPG channel. It's, yeah. it's too much for me to film by myself to get quality content. So. How's the personal channel going? It's good. I'm pausing for a few days to get caught up on stuff. You're nuts. You're yeah. nuts. The amount of content you're making? Oh, well, I'm back on. Unreal. I'm going to keep doing a daily yeah. video on my personal channel, but I'm going to get out of the watch stuff. Yeah. Then just for the TPG channel. And then TPG, I'm going back to one video. Am I crazy for getting it? I mean, just from a just from a visual standpoint. He's stunning. Get the money. That's the infamous one. That's the one, dude. Wow. Take a look at that. I want to get that on my wrist before we go oh, tonight. Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna put it on yeah. in a minute. I just didn't want to wear it inside the hotel. Oh. <laughs> Damn, you're crazy, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You know, people not people don't want to believe you, but if there's someone who can pull this off, you gotta. Yeah, that's a, that's you, Paul. That's oh, me. Come shoulder and come. NFTs come shoulder come. It's me. <laughs> that is right there. See, that just realized makes me realize how bad it looks at. How Whoa. Awesome it looks against tattoos. You gotta have the right look, you see. You gotta have the tats to get away but with see, this stuff. See, now it's making me think I've got to do some hand tattoos <laughs> to make it match. <laughs> Oh. But speaking of doing dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen, the crypto show was go exposure. Ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, that. speaking of dumb stuff. Uh, Cameron, you might want to get in on this. All right, so I'm going to say something about this. You guys remember this? So he's been oh, so he's been showing so he's been showing this watch. Now when he bought this, I called him up and I'm very straightforward. I'm like, what the f is wrong with you? I said, how would you park so much money in this watch? Because we know we all know what GP is. Yeah. Mind you, it's been 30 days. The watch on his wrist? Loretta. You know how many dealers already asked me about it? GP, it's a close-up. We, we know our dear friend in, in Dubai that had how many of these? Yeah, and, and over and over and over. Yeah. But it just goes to show the power of influence, right? guy in the business a few years he starts pumping that watch I had 14 inquiries from dealers hey do you still have the GP closeouts you used to have do you still have the GP and now I have it, it, it got even further now dealers are saying hey what do you think the value of this is can I pay this for this now right and it stemmed from him I mean this is monster I mean it's, it all stems from him picking this up and then picking those up and not just the skeletons, the regular ones, that all of a sudden I see the price go tick, 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 tick. And it took one video from supposedly a guy everybody hates, and now all the dealers is, what are they doing? They're hating, but they're following suit, now they're buying them. Experience. Tomorrow is going to be a lot of YouTube testosterone <laughs> in one show, for sure. We have a lot of personalities here. We've got Roman. We've got Paul. What's up, guys? We've got Tim. Yeah. Where is, oh, David just left. Oh, by, by the way, did I tell you the story? Like an asshole, I didn't recognize who you was. <laughs> I've been on a live with him a bunch of times. Tim! Oh, Tim, I didn't write. Because he, like, changes I, what I... I, he, I heard his voice. He my look. He I can tell his voice, So yeah. I, go, I, go, I go to Spencer, I'm like, who is this asshole? He's like, that's Tim Wright. I'm like, oh, shit. That's what he got. The new look. I didn't recognize him. Uh, I'm going for back to the... For, hey, those, for those people talking shit, Anthony is a game changer. <laughs> so stop asking me, what's up with Anthony, all right? <laughs> Just DM him text, direct. Hang on, how many texts a day do you get about me? Oh, man, a lot. Too many, man. <laughs> I'm going to get you a break. I get a shirt. Oh, I don't I have it. Stop, and a hat. Stop asking me about Anthony. Stop <laughs> Ask him. Just say, <laughs> ask, ask Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> ask Anthony about Anthony. All right. See you guys tomorrow. That's it. <laughs>